this episode, we're going to take a look at quadrangles. Quadrangles are formed when four segments come together. The prefix quad means four, and when those four segments come together, they form four angles. Quadrangles can come in all different shapes and sizes, just like triangles. Quadrangles are also named by their endpoints, but there's a little bit of a trick to naming quadrangles. Here, we have a quadrangle with endpoints A, B, C, and D. Now you'd think, just like triangles, you could name these in any way by combining these four letters. But the trick with naming quadrangles is that you need to name them sequentially so that if you were to draw segments that follow your name, you'd still form the same shape. For example, if I name this quadrangle, I could name it quadrangle A, B, D, C. Because if I follow that path, I would still form the rectangle. I could also call this quadrangle quadrangle C, D, B, A. However, I could not call this quadrangle A, D, C, B. Because if I traced that route, I would end up with an X, and that's not the form of my quadrangle. Can you think of any other names for this quadrangle? Quadrangles are named according to their endpoints. However, they can be described according to their attributes. Here, we have a shape that has four right angles, two sets of parallel sides, and two pairs of sides of equal length, called a rectangle. Here, we have a shape that has all four sides equal length, and all four right angles, and two parallel sides. That would be a square. This is a parallelogram. A parallelogram simply means that two sets of sides run parallel to each other. This shape is called a rhombus. A rhombus is similar to a square in that it has four equal sides, and two pairs of those sides run parallel. The difference between a square and a rhombus is a rhombus does not have right angles. This is a kite. A kite has the attributes of two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal length. Notice the top sides are equal in length and the bottom sides are equal in length. But it has no parallel sides and no right angles. This is a trapezoid. A trapezoid can be described as having one pair of parallel sides. So we've looked at different ways to name quadrangles and different ways to describe quadrangles.